everybody. We are inside the Eat It Up exhibit here at the Imagination Station. I have Carl Nelson here, and boy, is it smelling delicious. Got a big bowl of citrus fruit and some balloons. Could you pick up this balloon right there? I don't want to touch it myself. This I want, one? Yeah, just it's fine. Just I don't. Okay. And hold it over there a little bit. I'm gonna take this rind of an orange okay. and squeeze it. Oh, what? Oh. Check that out. This balloon oh. will pop. Balloons oh. will pop as the oils from the rind really? hit them. But it didn't pop that one. So this no. is a special balloon. We're going to put that aside. That's interesting. That's, okay. that's going to be kind of cool. All right. So what do you think is happening there? Why is it popping? I'm going to put these on. Um, um, I have no idea. I'm actually kind of perplexed by this whole so, thing. So citrus fruits, this will work with lemons, limes, oranges. Okay. Um, so things fruits. that we have at home. Yeah, those, right are, now. those are sort of acidic sure. sort of things. Yeah. So the first thing is when you show this to somebody, they think, oh, it must be the citric acid that is popping the balloon. Okay. Seems like a reasonable su uh, suggestion or idea. And I've got some citric acid here that I've dissolved in some water. Okay. okay. So this is the real deal. This the is, hardcore. This stuff. is real citric acid, okay. and um, we're going to see what actually happens when we put on the balloon. What? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going to happen because okay. it's not the citric acid that's doing it. There's another. What? There's another compound inside citrus fruit that give it that really wonderful citrusy smell. Yeah, I mean, it smells called, delicious. It's right called now. limonene. Okay. Limonene. And if you've ever purchased any of these, um, like orange products. Yes, I have those at home. Okay. okay. One of the components inside there is called limonene, and it turns out that limonene is great at dissolving some things. It's great at dissolving latex rubber. Huh. Okay. So if you go ahead and grab, like, okay. grab something there. I've got. I've got some more balloons here. Oh, but they're boy. probably going to pop. Should I from, just start? Just squeeze the rind. Oh. Yeah. All right. And so what's oh. what's cool about this Very is. Fun. You can do it from a great distance. Oh, okay. Okay. So you don't have to be like right next to them, but as long as oh some God. some of that stuff gets out, some of the limonene, it'll dissolve. It'll dissolve the polymer, and the balloon will pop. Now, of course, if you if you drip the juice out Ooh. as well, that'll do it. Yeah. Like that as well. Now, that other balloon right here didn't yeah. pop. What's up with that balloon? So what's interesting is some balloons, like these balloons we just got here. These are water balloons. You want these things to pop. As soon as they sure. touch you when they're mm -hmm. filled with water. In fact, even if you have some juice on yeah, my hands, I have it'll a bunch pop. On my hands. Okay. Um, other balloons, you want to be durable and tough. And so what they do is they actually vulcanize them huh. and they cross link them so that they're tougher. And these so these would be like birthday party balloons. These might be birthday party okay. balloons. Now that doesn't mean they're immune from the limonene, it just means it might take a little bit longer. I've got some concentrated. This is the pure stuff here. Let's see. Oh, here, you do it. Okay. Squirt it right on there. See what happens. It's gotta be vulcanized. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't Boom. Know. See, I went a little crazy. This is, it, it's just so so satisfying because here, more this balloons. Is very therapeutic. More, more balloons. Woo! So you clean up it's after like your clean up after your party. Yeah. You just have some some fruit, and <laughs> you can just pop balloons all day long. This is very um, fun. But it's really kind of cool chemistry, and that the reason why this is used in cleaning products is it, it can dissolve oils. Mm. Okay. It's environmentally friendly. It's sourced from actually. It smells delicious. Citrus yeah. fruits. Um, it's just a really cool wow, little that discovery. Wow, super neat. I wonder if I have enough. Yeah. Oh, I you do have, have enough, enough, enough juice on, on your hands, hands <laughs> that it's just going to pop. And again, other balloons, if you try it at home, you may find balloons that don't pop so well because they've been vulcanized. Wow, this is a cool one that you could do with the kids. Of course, you want some adult supervision there, but what a way to show them so what's really happening. Them. No, can't I can't even touch them. Touch them. <laughs> well, right. that's how you imagine it, Carl Nelson. Thanks so much for coming down. Just a reminder, it is Saturday, so that means paid Lucas County residents Adults get a child in free here at the Imagination Station. They're always doing fun stuff like this. So yeah. ooh, you really got my heart racing on this Saturday morning. <laughs> and again, that's how you imagine it.